Singapore is one of the safest cities to live in. Besides our strict laws, we enjoy low crime rates thanks to an efficient enforcement system that looks after us around the clock. But how does an advanced security provider support our local police force in safeguarding the community? Let's find out. Hi, Zul. Hey, Bong. Hey. Come. <laughs> wow, this is uh, really impressive. So, where am I? <laughs> okay, welcome to the ATOS Integrated Command Center. So, what you see here is a 3D digital twin of Singapore. That what it does. Super cool. <laughs> what it does is that we replicate the infrastructure of the entirety of Singapore and we display it right here on a single dashboard. The most important thing in this current platform is our work order summary. So it's our AI alert based system. So in the past, the traditional command center, it has several, a lot to the hundreds of CCTV cameras just monitoring various premises. The larger the premises, the more cameras there'll be. So it's becoming increasingly difficult for the operators to have their attention span of every single camera. So we changed the way we operate. We are now using this thing called the alert based system. Only when we receive an alert, then our guys will go in to verify what's actually happening. Right. All right. So on that note, what we've done is to oh, simulate okay. well, we something <laughs> so that you can roughly understand how we operationalize this platform. So what you see here is this pens intrusion detection system. And the system has identified the suspicious behavior happening at our front gate. So the first thing whenever we receive such a situation is to verify the authenticity of the incident. Okay, uh, two guys there. Exactly, right? Being a little bit suspicious. At this point in time, we're not too sure what's the intent of those people. In the background, what my team is doing is to also identify the nearest response team or patrol team to go down and engage these people on the ground. Yeah. Now, on that note, the response team has already been activated yeah. and it will be arriving in less than five minutes. Oh, okay. Okay, that's, that's pretty quick. So, patrol cars are in. Yeah, so the patrol cars are in and we can watch the response force actually engaging the suspicious yes. characters. And from there, the guys on the ground, they will make the decision point whether it needs to be handed over to the authorities or not. Right. From our end, issue has been resolved, we close the case. Okay, that was a lot that was happening, which means on the back end, that's a lot of data that's being collected and processed. So, how do you ensure your system does not crash? <laughs> That's a very good question. Yeah. So for ATOS, what we do is that we leverage Singtel's 5G network. Mm. So what we have is fast speeds, high bandwidth, and also multi-access edge computing. So what it basically means is that we're able to transmit large amounts of data at very fast speeds with very low latency. So what it does is that it enables us to do multiple things concurrently yeah. by ingesting all that data on edge before putting it together right here on what we're seeing here on one screen. Super impressive. Well, I promise I, I, I didn't see too much today. I won't share what I've learned today with you to random people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Zul. Thank you wow, so much. That, that, that's super cool. Okay. After experiencing the ICC and the simulated security breach, I have a few questions. So I'm on my way to meet the Senior Vice President of Operations for ATOS, Mr. Lim Kok Hua. Mr. Lim, thank you so much for taking time out of your very busy schedule to have a chat with me. Thank you for thank dropping you. by to ATOS, Paul. It was, it was amazing. Your ICC is state-of-the-art. Uh, it was really cool to see how much goes on in one room with, with everyone working in sync. They showed me a really cool scenario, a security breach, which was interesting to see how they reacted to that scenario. But on average, on a day, how many security responses would your team have to deal with? On average, we are looking at about 120 incidents a day. Oh wow, 120 incidents a day. That's right. How has 5G made your job easier? Uh, I think comparing to the past, uh, when there's an incident that happens, we require a ground officer to verbally report the incident. Also to verify the incident, we need uh, more resources. So in the previous, it was it take a long time. But with the current command center that we have, uh, it's all through IoT sensors. Uh, with IoT sensors, it's actually a real time. We are able to track down exactly where the incident is happening, and the operator himself can call out the on site what is the video footage. And through a separate system, we are also able to see where the location of all response force are, and be able to trigger them to response. 
Uh, with that, we actually can do a single man operations. As a result, we are able to cut about 50% manpower and also the response time is also being cut down. Now we are looking at about uh, less than 30 minutes to respond to an incident from the point of detection. With the advent of technology, there was this thing called the virtual patrol, whereby they actually digitized the manual process of the going to different checkpoints through CCTV. But however, now when we talk about 5G, we're able to allow a persistent stare of all the cameras. So it's a similar analogy, it's like you're putting men at every single CCTV. And with AI, we're actually able to monitor from a standoff position in a command center. 5G, it's definitely taken us to where we are now. Seeing your digital twin environment in, in the ICC, I mean, massive. There's investment for these systems to come into play. But is it all worth it? Seeing what uh, the ICC can do today uh, definitely is worth the investment because I think we are just not building a command center that deals with security. With the current uh, technology offered by Singtel 5G, the value that we offer to our clients and stakeholders to not just security, but even safety, sustainability and smart facility management. There's a good ROI in terms of expanding the scope of uh, our business model. A debatable uh, question here for this is, as much as it's so much more efficient and autonomous, does that take away jobs for humans? I think that's a common concern for people. Yes. But uh, the answer is definitely not because I think uh, with uh, technology, not only uh, enable our people to uh, do things better, but they're able to do better things. Yes. So other than the operational efficiency and effectiveness that is able to bring about by technology, it actually free out uh, a lot of space for our security officers to actually take up uh, new value-added uh, trainings. So it's actually able to bring up their uh, career proposition up the value chain and uh, making a job of a security officer a bit more dynamic and progressive. Thank you, Mr. Right. Lim. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> in a time where crime is becoming more sophisticated in nature, it is critical that our security systems are always steps ahead. Whilst we can't prevent all crimes from happening, we can definitely do our part to mitigate them and stop perpetrators before they succeed. What was once only seen in sci-fi movies is now a reality, with the high speed and low latency capabilities of 5G. And the innovations we are seeing are only the beginning of great things to come.